guys? Kevin from Epic Gardening here. Uh, as you can see, my towers are bare. They are naked. There are no plants inside them. And what actually happened is I got a real bad uh, illness for about a month. So I was almost bedridden for quite a while. I was not able to take care of my garden. And they actually did die. Although, just to recap the final harvest, I got pounds and pounds of greens, pounds and pounds of beans off of it and I also got a bunch of summer squash and I'm talking the the long pale ones that are really really nice really meaty so I got quite a harvest off of these despite kind of losing track of them in in spite of that illness anyways what I wanted to talk about today is the cleanup process because as you can imagine roots are going to be growing down this entire system and then roots depending on what you plant at the bottom I planted some really leafy really big plants like the squash plant and bean plants, there's going to be roots in the reservoir as well. So when it comes cleanup time, how do the tower gardens stack up? And what I found is if you harvest your plants while alive, which <laughs> hopefully you do, it's kind of the logical thing, you're going to have a decent time because all you have to do is take it apart from top down and then just pull out the net pots. You'll have to do a little bit of trimming and washing of the net pots to get the root mass gone out of there. but other than that should be pretty simple however if you do let the the tower garden sort of die off a little bit and if you do let your plants die and the root system dry out then you run into a little bit of an issue because the roots are permeating throughout the entire system and then they're going to be really rock hard and dried on what I had to do is actually soak every individual piece for a little bit and then scrub it off with a sponge which took me a long time but I'm glad that I went through it so I can kind of give you guys the information on you know what's best what's not best but anyways overall impression of the tower really almost no issues really low maintenance I mean you if you want to get high-tech and if you want to get really meticulous about it you can but you really don't have to I've left it alone for five six days at least in the early stages when it wasn't drinking a lot of water and it was just fine uh, so really excited about this. I'm prepping another grow right now and it's going to be charred spinach, kale, lettuce, and a couple herb varieties, cilantro and basil. So it's going to be a pretty much full green tower, not doing too many fruiting uh, plants this time around, just because I want to turn this into my juicing and salads and vegetables, like really mixed greens kind of kind of uh, production center right here and I've got other grows set up they're gonna be doing some fruiting stuff including the square foot gardens gonna be going in for some fruiting stuff and then as you can see I've got some pretty cool tomatoes going down over here so anyways that's the final impressions of the tower garden let me know if you'd like me to continue on with this series and journal my next grow and get maybe a little bit more technical because the first one was sort of a just a walkthrough just a light you know basics introduction and review I can get a little bit more technical and talk about what I'm doing to get the yields that I'm getting at the speed that I'm getting them. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please hit like, hit subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And feel free to hit me up. I've got a Facebook, got a Twitter. We have Epic Gardening Forums where there's some real cool threads getting posted about some unique grows. We've got a guy doing peppers that's just really, really an expert at pepper growth, uh, both in and out of soil. So. Go ahead and check those out, and I'll see you there. Thank you, guys. Keep gardening.